Hey, I'm Hester and this is Handmade Home, the channel for easy and budget-friendly house updates. And today I'm going to show you how you can make a denim cushion with a really nice pom-pom trim. As you can see, these old seating cushions can do with a bit of a makeover as the fabrics got very stained from uh, being outdoors. What we're going to do, we're going to make a cover and we're going to have a nice pom-pom trim on the edge. First, you need to see how much fabric you need. You're going to measure the width of your cushion plus the thickness and the length of your cushion plus the thickness. For me, that's 50 by 50 centimeters. So we're going to cut one piece of denim 50 by 50 centimeters. So here you have my 50 by 50 centimeter piece of denim. And for the back of the cushion, we're going to cut two pieces. They're going to be the same length, so 50 centimeters. Only the width is going to be half of this one plus five centimeters. So it's 50 by 30 centimeters. And when you have the two pieces together, you see there's a nice overlap. So the cushion can slide in when it's all sewn together. Start by folding over one centimeter on one of the sides on the back pieces. This is so you have a nice clean edge for when the fold is going to be later. We're going to pin it in place and then we're going to stitch it just on the edge here. Get your front piece of denim, that's the big piece, and your pom-pom trim and line the pom-pom trim on the edge of the denim and pin in place. Once you pin it all the way around the cushion, we're going to stitch it in place just on the edge here. Make sure the pom-poms face inwards. I'm opting for a bit more fun and I'm going to do a two-toned pom-pom trim. So one side I did with the orange pom-pom trim and here I'm going to continue with the pink one. Because why use one colour when you can use two? So now your pom-pom trim is attached in place. What you're going to do is with the fabric facing up and the pom-poms all facing inwards, you're going to put one of the back pieces on top, right side going down. And you're going to make sure they line up nicely and you're going to pin the sides, the back and this side. And as you can see, where you made the seam is in the middle now. And you're going to do the same on the other side. So get your back piece where the side is not seamed, line up to the side, pin in place. And as you can see, you have a nice little overlap now on this side. And we're going to stitch it close and we're going to use the line you made when stitching on the pom-poms as a guide to stitch it close. So once you stitch all around the edges and the cushion is closed, comes the fun part, you get to turn it the right way around. Make sure you push the corners out nicely. And your cover is ready to be stuffed. Do you see how easy it is to insert your cushion because of this slit? Once you know how to make cushion covers out of new denim, you can also use old pieces of jeans to make cushion covers, like I did on this one. You just piece together old pieces of jeans until you have panels that are big enough for your cushion covers. So I made one panel 50 by 50 centimeters, and here are the two panels 50 by 30 centimeters, and I used the lace band to use as an overlap. I'm using these cushions outside on my new outdoor bench, but you can easily use them as well on your sofa, on your bedroom or wherever you like, a nice comfy cushion. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. Handmade Home brings you a new craft tutorial every Thursday.